So your hydraulic slide is stuck. I'm gonna to try to give you some tips on how to get it back in or out. Coming up. Hey everybody, if you don't know me, my name's Justin. I'm a certified mobile RV repair tech and my channel is about all things RV. If that's something that might interest you, please consider subscribing. Today we're gonna to be talking about hydraulic slides, hydraulic landing gear, and hydraulic leveling gear. So first thing to try is with your LCI hydraulic motor. This is the top of it right here. You can see here we have the hydraulic reservoir, which everything out should be about 75% full. So I'd say this is a little bit low. And then here is our motor. The part we're talking about is the top right here. You can see that that piece of tape with the cross on it, the little hex design right there, that's what we're gonna be looking at. So I'm gonna be reading right from the manual. Manual override. The Lippert hydraulic slide out system can be run with auxiliary power devices like electric drills, ratchet wrenches, and screwdrivers. In the event of electric or system failure, this manual method of extending and retracting the room out, the room slide out can be used. A standard handheld drill is all that is required. A standard 38 inch room will take approximately 45 seconds to retract. See the instructions below. Step one, remove that protective label. You see that protective label right there. We're gonna take that off. Step two, using a standard hex bit, insert auxiliary drive device, cordless drill, screwdriver, or ratchet wrench into coupler found under protective label. And then number three is we're gonna run that drill counterclockwise to extend the slide out room and clockwise to retract the room. So if your drill didn't work on top of the LCI motor, we're gonna talk about this manifold right here. There's, you can see these little Allen wrench holes on each one of these, there should be one of those. Let's see if we can see, it's kind of hard to see. So here's another one right here. Here's another one right here and right here. So this is a little bit more challenging because some RVs don't have these labeled as this one does not. This is uh, my in-laws fifth wheel. So we need to figure out which one of these is related to the slide that is not operating. And um, we could do that with some trial and error. We take an Allen wrench and we need to open up this valve, you know, or, or this valve or this valve or this valve until the room is able to be pushed in. It's gonna take a lot of force to push that slide in. A lot, a lot, a lot. You're gonna need multiple people. It's gonna be extremely hard to push. But once we figure out the right valve, we can push in or retract whatever hydraulic system that we need to move and then we can close the valve back and it should stay in place. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful for your LCI hydraulic uh, leveling or slide out systems. Um, if this was not helpful and you have a different system, I have a video about my Schwintech systems right here. And if you'd like to see a video of something funny about a, a terrible manufacturing error that an RV manufacturer made, check this video up here. Uh, if you guys like these videos, please hit like and subscribe. I'd like to hear about your experience with dealing with your slide outs. Hit me up with a comment below. Let's keep the conversation going. Talk to you guys soon. Thank you.